Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are new here, I'm Bree. A lot of people call me Breezy. If you are not new, thank you for returning. Today we are, what is the date? It is Monday, May 18th. We are still hanging out here in quarantine and just riding this thing out. So what I figured I would do today is Haley actually, my sister Haley, um, if you don't follow her on Instagram at Haley, she dropped off some makeup. I have some of uh the products from this brand so this is by beauty counter if you guys have never heard of the brand before it's a like so you can see here it says beauty comes clean we're gonna do a little get ready with me today of um just some cleaner makeup so they have an ingredient list let me see our mission is to get safer products in the hands of everyone when formulating our products we, we prohibit the use of over 1500 harmful or questionable ingredients um so their whole like goal is to bring safer beauty products um i guess into the beauty world and that's definitely cool i like to see that for sure there's a lot more brands that are trying to do that now um i so how i personally think is a lot of these products are great like everyday staples i still have other things i love and i don't know if we'll we'll see but like if these shadows are going to be as pigmented as some of the other like classic Ulta and Sephora brands I have but those things are good for on occasion I feel like these are going to be really good for like daily use so I do use some beauty counter things like pretty much on the daily the one that I use almost every day is the um oh my god what is wrong with me today why can't I think eyebrow gel so I have the clear one she got this for me a while ago I'm almost out it's like empty this is the foundation I've been using for the past couple months from their brand. So I use a bunch of different foundations, but this is the one I've been gravitating towards like for daily use, especially if I'm just like coaching or if I know I'm going to be working out later. This is the Beauty Counter Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. It's really like a minimal sheer coverage. Like it's definitely there. You can see it, but it's not anything full coverage, but that's why I like it for like a daily use. This one I have in the color Sand Sable. I'm not going to use that today because I've used it a bunch. Um, I'm going to use a new one. Apparently, they just came out with this. She said she was, like, asking me for my shade because she wanted to get it, to me, get it for me for my birthday. But this is the Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. I'm going to work on just, like, a simple everyday makeup look with a cleaner makeup option. So, beauty counter, here we go. All right, this headband is staying in for right now. Okay, so I am actually going to start with... There's a couple things that I don't necessarily have a product from beauty counter, so I'm just going to kind of, like grab something else instead i'm gonna start with a primer i don't know if beauty counter has a primer i think they might i'm not sure but i'm gonna use this one i've been using a bunch it's like halfway empty i would say this is the tula face filter blurring primer i have a bunch of primers my favorite of all time is probably T tatcha silk canvas i don't have that one right now but this is more of like an everyday primer i feel like those primers that are like pore filling, I wouldn't want to wear every single day, especially when I'm like potentially working out or just coaching or whatever. So I'm going to use this. Just do a couple pumps in your hand. And then I'm working it with my fingers. And then I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender. This is just one from Eco Tools, I think. For today, I'm going to use this foundation. So this is the new one that was released. This is the Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. I think it's supposed to be more full coverage than like the tint skin. Um, so this is in the color medium 350. I love the bottle. It's glass. It's like really good quality and that's definitely a better option um, when you're trying to do like safer products instead of in plastic. I have used this actually once. Um, I feel like this is really bright. Alright, so I'm just gonna pat it all in. I did use this once but like very quickly like I wasn't really like paying attention to what I truly thought of it, if that makes sense. It's definitely more coverage than the tint skin. It's not gonna be like your full glam, like as full coverage as possible, like you're not seeing anything. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I love that this is definitely like dewy. I mean, the primer I use from Tatcha, I'm sorry, from Tula is moisturizing. And then in combination with this, it definitely gives you a good glow. I just like it's very like natural and good again for everyday wear. I would go for this one more if I knew I was probably going to be like working out throughout the day. 
this one is like great for work or just like feeling put together so that's pretty much the foundation i gotta keep moving gotta go to work um they do have concealer i know it's like a concealer pen i don't have that and Haley didn't bring me any which is fine um i'll have to try that out i'll have to try that out at a later date but right now I'm just gonna do a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape, just a little bit. I have two colors, one's like really light and one seems dark, so I'm gonna do like a combination of the two. And I'm not gonna do like a ton. Quickly, I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder over it. I think they do have a setting powder. Again, I'm just using what I have access to, which isn't gonna be everything in my routine or every single step. I'm just gonna use the Too Faced Beach Perfect powder just cause that's the one I have close by. I'm just using a little bit of it, mainly for under my eyes. That's all I really care about not being dewy. I'm gonna go in for my brows. So I do have the um, eyebrow gel, I love it. I have clear, there's also another one that is brown or like a shade closer to your brows, which I like as well. I'm gonna do a combination. I'm actually gonna grab this eyeshadow palette. This is in, this is the classic eyeshadow palette. I also have my Anastasia um, eyebrow powders here. I'm gonna do a little combination of the color Sable and this, and also that. You can always utilize a color in an eyeshadow palette for your brows if you don't have anything, or if you just wanna like pack less, if you're traveling. I mean, I know we ain't traveling right now, but. So after I brush through, I'm going to go through with the gel, so we'll keep it in place. I really like the um, eyebrow gel, especially the clear one, just if I'm going to like work out or whatever. It makes them stay in place, but it's not like super crunchy. Like some eyebrow gels, oh my god, the one I had from, I think it was Benefit, literally left my eyebrows like so crunchy. It was the weirdest thing ever. So then I just brushed them up. I love that brow gel a lot. Let's go into bronzer. This is the color Dune. Pretty good pan size. Like, I know some of these products are like more on the expensive side, but A, you're getting like a pretty good pan size of product. And then also, it's definitely always gonna be more expensive to make better quality um, anything, especially makeup. So I'm just gonna go on my cheeks I like this color it's warm but not like too much it's buildable the eyeshadow brush here just do a little down the sides of the nose with the bronzer then I'm gonna take some blush this is in the color date I like this it's like a peachy golden peachy color oh wow it is <laughs> very pigmented I wasn't expecting that so be careful, light hand. That's a good thing though. Definitely like work on um, blending it. it. Doesn't just like stick there, so. Cute, I like that blush. I'm just gonna take a little on my nose. It's like a little trick for a sun-kissed look, a little blush on your nose. I'm gonna take the highlighter. This one is in the color Halo. It's not picking up on camera as much as it should, but it's like a champagne color. I'm just gonna take one of my tapered brushes. Oh, I'm gonna blend that in a little bit down here. Take a little down the nose, a little just very quick sweep across the forehead chin and cupid's bow i feel like these products give a very like summery beachy look which i like i definitely enjoy keeping with like the warm glowy theme here i'm gonna take the classic eyeshadow palette the colors in here are really pretty i also have the one that is called the romantic eyeshadow palette definitely more cool tone i'm gonna use the warmer tones and i'm gonna go into the color probably sienna a little in my crease oh let me just zoom in quick so you guys can see. Definitely pigmented. 
Just gotta work on the blending a little bit. Which is good. I'd rather do that than like have no pigment. Honestly, like I wouldn't be super picky with like the quality of some, not quality, but like blendability and like pigment of some cleaner beauty products because I'm sure it's so hard to make things the same way like formula wise as some of the brands that don't necessarily like focus on that. I'm sure it's much harder to do. I'm gonna take the color copper I think right here and just do a little bit of that on the bottom of my lid. Oh that's cute. And then just with my finger kind of pull that across the bottom of the lid and then it will just like blend right up into the crease color just like really easy look you can do really cute i like that a lot the um shimmery one came off really like nice like really nice pigment Take, i think probably ivory i guess this light one up here or maybe sahara nah i'm just gonna try ivory and I'm just going to go really lightly up towards the top, towards my brow, just like as a little bit of a highlight. Do the same thing on my inner corner. I'm going to go back and take that ivory color because it's closer to like a white. It's pretty light. And just highlight the inner corner. And the last thing I'm going to do is go back to that color Sienna. Should have used cinnamon now. It looks really good too. Just go like right under the lower lash line. I think it just kind of brings the look together. I just qu curled my eyelashes quick. I'm going to use their lengthening mascara very quickly. So mascara is on. I think that I would love to try the volumizing one too. The lengthening one is good. I just feel like with my lashes because they are so, they actually looks pretty good. They are so not great that I need like as much help as I can get. This is a great bottom um lash mascara for sure because the band is so thin that you can really easily like get under there. The thing I used was the gloss and this is in the color clove. This is a really also um good everyday color kind of like more on the nude side definitely a little bit of pink you can see in the back of my hand right here. All right you guys that is it. I did spray a little bit of setting spray. I just used the Morphe Luminous one because that's all I have right now. I don't have a setting spray from Beauty Counter. I'm not sure if they have one but overall I'm really impressed the things I've tried before like uh, some of the foundations, the eyebrow gel, stuff like that. Um, there's also a cream blush here that I didn't get to use. I will just swatch this one on my hand so you guys can see. It's very bright. More of like a berry color on this one but definitely something you could use if you love cream products in the summer. I'll have to try that one next time. But overall, I just love the way that it looks um, on my skin. I have dry skin, so I like things to look as moisturized and dewy as possible. I think that could also help from the primer, but the foundation is really, really nice. I think I love it. I love the bronzer. The highlight is really pretty. It kind of just looks like your skin. It doesn't look super powdery or anything. And then that was a good everyday gloss for sure. The eyeshadows, the really warm like bronzy colors, the payoff is really good. Uh, you have to work a little bit more with the matte ones, but that's okay. The shimmers were really good as well. Guys, that is it. I gotta get ready and go to work. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!